My name is Wally Farrell and I'm a tech entrepreneur. You are watching Tech Roundup, your weekly opinion, views and analysis of the top tech events happening around the world with a focus on Nigeria. On Tech Roundup today, we'll be speaking with a CEO whose company is taking an innovative approach to e-commerce in Nigeria and evaluating the viability of the strategy for the Nigerian market. We'll close the episode with the news of two recent global tech acquisitions and what Nigerian tech founders can learn from the development. Let's get started. I had the privilege of speaking with EC Abebe last year where he described a new TV marketing business that they recently launched in Nigeria. ShopX TV is a multi-channel retail business based in Nigeria. They source and sell innovative products via TV shopping channels, call centers, online, and via retail partners. The company uses television to sell innovative products for everyday life and they are the exclusive distributors in Africa for some of the world's most successful as seen on TV products and their core categories are lifestyle, fitness, and kitchen. Here's a portion of the interview I had with EC in 2019. Think about it. Now, if you look at uh, the Nigerian market uh, with the uh, evolution of e-commerce in the in the last several years, which uh, you know uh, I've been part of, uh, it's not been straightforward. Uh, there's been a lot of media attention. There's been a lot of investors' attention yeah. uh, watching the space and seeing what Nigeria can actually do with technology and e-commerce. Yeah. Um, it, you know, needless to say that we're still trying to figure it out. There's so yeah. many issues around, uh, you know, consumer trust, adoption, you know, and things of those nature. But your approach is quite different. Could you tell us a little bit about how you're situating that in the Nigerian market? Because this is not, this is different from going online and buying this product. This is yeah. a different way of doing e-commerce. Could you, could you provide more insight on how you, are, you guys are doing it? Well, so what we've done is we've, we've sort of positioned ourselves with two platforms that we know works in Nigeria. Okay. Television and mobile phones. Okay. Uh, there's certainly an opportunity for the e-commerce space. There's a... Uh, they're selling the population for it, but we didn't feel that there's enough traction yet to justify a major push into the e-commerce sector, especially okay. with a couple of players already there okay. who are essentially pushing the way forward. Okay. We certainly benefited from the early adopters of e-commerce uh, e by uh, taking advantage of the maturity of payment processing platform. The investment that they've, they've made Absolutely, into yeah. it, into the space. I mean, yeah. Without that investment, we wouldn't have been able to launch this business Absolutely, model. Absolutely, yeah, makes sense. But what we felt was, uh, television is always a major driver. I mean, if you put something up on the website, you still have to drive people to go and buy those products. But what we find is uh, television is almost like advertising steroids. Yeah. You get the volumes that you need yeah. to be able to push your sales forward. Yeah. And you combine that with mobile technology, the ability to pay using your phone. We just felt it was a good fit for our business model. Obviously, it comes at a high cost. At time, it's not, it's not cheap in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. but we're On Tech Roundup, we have reviewed the e-commerce business segment in Nigeria several times, but this offers yet another window into that conversation. The TV approach is an interesting one that could solve some of the current challenges that the industry faces. In my opinion, I think this is an interesting approach and could record more success for the following reasons. 1. TV reach is massive, so you could demonstrate the value of a product to so many people at the same time sales conversions are quite significant, so this drives volume. However, the provider has to closely monitor the cost of customer acquisition as this channel may end up being more expensive than the alternative. Two, call to action is instant. They ask you to call a line, you provide payment options right away. The, contacts, the contact with the salesperson on the other line most likely seals the deal. The issue of abandoned cart and traditional e-commerce is instantly solved. And three, the offer of free delivery, extended return period, and dedicated 24-7 customer support boosts customers' confidence and reduces the risk of incomplete transactions. The full episode of my interview with EC will be available on Tech Roundup Talk next Wednesday, January 22nd, 2019.
2020. We close this episode with two very exciting tech acquisition stories from the US. This week, Visa says it's buying plate in a deal worth $5.3 billion, roughly double the startup's last private valuation. Plate's API software lets startups connect to users' bank accounts. Visa and Rival Mastercard were early investors in the startup, along with venture arms of Goldman Sachs, Citi, and American Express. On a related note, Google is acquiring Pointy, a startup out of Dublin which has built hardware and software technology to help physical retailers, specifically those that might not already have an extensive online storefront, get their product discoverable online without any extra effort. Here are a few common strategies that I believe are at play here and that tech founders should focus on as they think of exits. One. In these two acquisitions, the startups had formed alliances with the eventual acquirer. Both Visa and Mastercard had participated in an earlier funding round for the company and as such, must be familiar with the company's strategy and execution path. Two, both startups with their unique offering has a sizable install customer base. Plate says 25% uh, of people in the United States with bank accounts have connected to the fintech company through an app. While Ponty had also managed to pick up quite a lot of traction as a small startup, working with around 10% of physical retailers in the US in certain categories, including pets and toys. Three, both have solutions that extend the capabilities of the acquiring company in a unique way and one that the acquiring company wants to keep off competition for obvious reasons. We'd like to hear your comments and feedback, so please connect with me on LinkedIn at Wally Farrell or subscribe to the Tech Roundup YouTube channel. If you're a founder, please take advantage of the new startup profile on our Tech Roundup TV uh, website and send us your video for a chance to be featured on an upcoming episode. Please also look at the bottom of your screen for all our social media handles. Please follow, like, share, and join the conversation. Please also remember to listen to Tech Roundup on Techie Talk every Wednesday from 1.30 p.m on Nigeria Info 99.3 if you are in Lagos. Have a great weekend guys and see you all again next week. Cordy. Alright. Episode 2 done.